Hello, this is Eric with Pyroboom, and tonight I received a question, and they ask, can I connect four of the R12s together? So they wanted to do 48 cues, and they wanted to sequence them at every three seconds. And I said, sure, you could do that. So we decided to make a video. Now, I'm only going to do it with two of the R12s, but the concept is the same. So what we have is we have, actually I have an older style P1200 up here, if you see in the, in the video there. And then on my left, I have my first R12, which I actually programmed and synced that to work with this P1200. And then I have a brand new R12 over here. I didn't do anything to it uh, as far as sequence and programming. So what I did is turned the mode to F1, which you probably can't see very well, on the R12. And I do that on, on, on both of them. And then what did I do is I press... Uh, shift and then I press up until I get to the di middle digits which it'll show something like zero uh, zero point one or something of that effect you'll have three numbers and there'll be a period uh, between uh, the last two digits what I did is obviously 1.0 is one second uh, and then you could set that for about three seconds and it goes up to 99 seconds and then here this one as well it's set at uh, one second as well so pretty straightforward on that one. And then the trick is, though, is to make this work uh, with this to have all, in this case, all 24 cues to go off. I did uh, a, a daisy chain or connected them together through what we call the output port, which is here on my left R12. And it goes into the input port on the second R12 and then so on and so forth. So you can connect a whole bunch of these together. So pretty, pretty straightforward and not a lot of programming, a lot of fancy things you need to do to get this to work. So again, I'm in mode F1. So like I said, everything's synced up. And from testing purposes, you'll see this first cue go off. So I'm going to go ahead and click on sequence. And if you notice here, every second they're going off. And we'll go ahead and, and watch the entire video. So we're going to get up to... Once we get up to 12, you're going to see the output flash. Input flash is on this next one over here. And we're already uh, up to the next one. And you can see it's going to finish out all the way to 12. So I just fired off 24 cues uh, using two R12s every one second. So F1 is an interval to set between each cue. So for example, on this one here, I wanted to do every one second <clears throat> I could and maybe I wanted to slow it down over here or vice versa and this one here I could set it to maybe every five seconds or three seconds and that's mode F1 and just for the sake of uh, adding more features to this when these are connected as well you can actually change the actual individual time between the cues so in other words between Q1 to Q2 I could set that to three seconds and then from Q2 Q3, I can set that to 12 seconds. And so if you do want to do some type of sequencing individually, you can do that as well. But a real, real nice feature about these input and output on these things. So you could theoretically just connect like a hundred of these together and do sequence fire. So you could really put on quite a display that way. But so it's a great question. I thought I would address it with a video. Hope this helps a lot. Thanks for watching.